Welcome to the sixth in our Tirana series. So far we've installed the firmware, we've set up basic models, edited those basic models to be able to do things like fly multi-rotors, we've then looked at things like using curves and the open TX companion on a PC and then in the last video we looked at dual rates and expo and how we set that up. One of the things that has been asked about the most in the previous videos and on the comments from subscribers is how do you change the voices and how do you set up so the audio is different and that's what we're going to cover in this video today. We're going to go through the options to change the audio on the radio and then I'm going to go and take you through my personal choice which was the Amber Audio Pack and we'll see why it's called the Amber Pack in a little while. We'll unpack the Amber Pack and then we'll upload it onto the radio. I'll show you how to configure it so you can assign sounds to be played when specific events happen on the radio and we'll also then look at how we can edit the sounds in the OpenTX companion. There's one thing we have to change and then we can continue to set up our models in OpenTX and still refer to the audio file so everything's set up there. So the first thing we need to do is just to show you what the Amber Pack sounds like. So the Amber Pack is running on my radio, so when I power it up, Welcome to Tyrannus. it has a nice hello. And then if I pick a model that actually has a lot of sound events installed, Throttle active, stabilize mode. then we can see here that as I change things like the mode switch, GPS mode, return to launch, stabilize mode, or things like throttle hold, throttle disabled, throttle active, or have a little switch that when you pull it will tell you what the telemetry information is from the craft. Zero volts. It'll say that because it's not connected to anything at the moment. All of that is configurable and set up on the radio. So that's what we're going to do next. So the first thing we'll do is jump onto the netbook because I want to talk about the different ways that we can get and create sound files to go onto the radio to replace the ones that are there by default. So I'm going to cover three of the most common places that people tend to have a look at when it comes to creating custom files for their Tyrannus radio. First of all we'll look at is opentx.org. I'll put all of these links in the description so you don't have to try and copy them from the screen. But in here we have the OpenTX recorder and the OpenTX speaker. These are pretty basic things that will record the sounds from the speaker in your PC and allow you to save and categorize them. I personally would always use something like Audacity or one of the other free audio editors that are available online to do things like compression and to also remove some of the popping and wheezing that you tend to get from the lower quality mics in most computers. That's one way to do it. The next way to do it is to actually create the sounds that you want rather than record your own voice and things like the acapella-group.com website will let you do this. So if I put in a simple phrase like, I don't know, welcome to your RC radio and I click listen then it will play it back to us. I'm going to have to turn the sound up a little bit on the video which might be a little bit hissy but you'll hear what it sounds like. Welcome to your RC radio. And in here you can pick whether or not you want a UK voice, a USA voice, whatever you want. So here's the UK version. Welcome to your RC radio. And what you can do if you really wanted to was right click, go and actually look at the source of this individual frame, figure out what the WAV file looks like, I think it's an MP3, download it to your computer and create the files one by one. Very long laborious process. The one that I've plumped for, which is quite a popular one, is using something called the Amber Transmitter Sound Pack. Now the reason it's called the Amber Pack is because it was actually recorded by a lady called Amber Dixon, and Amber has a fantastic voice and she's very kindly spent a lot of time creating 300 odd sounds that go into this pack. And it was a gentleman called Aaron Bates who actually did all the recording and then edited the sound files and created this fantastic resource. There are two versions available for download. One is the full pack. That includes lots of fun phrases, giggling, laughing, bit of cursing, odd things that you might find, uh, fun things to show your friends. And then the one, a second one is the same pack, but without all that crazy stuff at the end. I personally have downloaded this top one. To download it, you just right click, say 
save target as and then you can put it on your desktop. So I've done that already. Here it is on the desktop. And when you get it, it comes as this one compressed file and there are all the sounds. Now, one of the things I would say is when you're getting into the Tyrannus, and this is now our uh, sixth video in the series, you start to collect a lot of files, software, graphics, images, etc. I would always say make sure that you have somewhere on your computer that you can store all this stuff. This is just the way I'm doing it, but I would always recommend that you have somewhere to put everything. So I'm going to open my sounds directory and here's my Amber Sounds pack and I've actually unpacked it into here. There's the original file, the zip file, and I've unpacked the rest of it so we can play with it. So let me just show you what you get in the pack. First of all, you get these two files. One is one that's formatted like an Excel spreadsheet. The other one is a JPEG image file. We'll open the JPEG one. This is a fantastic resource. This shows how much effort's gone into creating this. This is actually an index of all of the sounds inside the pack and where you can get them. So here are all of the sounds that we have for flaps. So flaps up, flaps down, one, two, etc., etc. And on the left is the name of the file so that if you want your radio to say flaps up you know you're looking for flaps up in the list pretty straightforward there are lots of general ones there are some really nice ones about modes and also some great ones for fpv and autonomous flight for those of us who love drones so stabilize auto fly by wire circle gps mode return to home it's all in here and at the Far right hand side we have the fun stuff, snafu, bad attitude, bad altitude, cheat mode on, you nasty, all that kind of stuff. What we actually have as well as those two files is this directory. Now this sounds directory is actually where the sounds are kept. We don't have to look at any of this, but in the EN folder, everything in here needs to be copied onto the radio. There are two parts to it. Here's all those files we were just looking at. So that massive list in that JPEG image of all the different sound files are these. And then there's also one called system which we need to copy across at the same time. And in here it's things like all of the numbers and at the very bottom things like the OpenTX welcome audio as is all done here as well. So what we're going to have to do is to connect our radio and then navigate to the sounds area and replace what is in the EN area with these new sound files. So the next thing we'll need to do then is fire up the radio, put it into EEPROM mode by holding in those two tabs, plugging in the USB cable, and then we can copy this stuff across. I'd always recommend though, before you do this, is take a backup of your original sound settings. You'll notice that in here, in sounds, I actually have um, original sounds from the SD card. When I copied the Amber stuff across, I took time and actually copied the original ones from the SD card. That just means that I've got a copy so I can always get back to them if I need them. Right, let's put the radio in. And now we have a couple of drives. Now we want the one that says removable disk, not the one that says Tyrannus. Because if we open the one that looks like a removable disk, this is similar to what we've seen earlier in the series. So we have EEPROMs, firmwares, logs, models, sounds, scripts, and bitmap. Now this time we want sounds, and in here is all of the files. So what I did, I actually opened the Amber Sounds pack. So there's the sound, Amber Sounds pack with all the sounds in. What I did, I just control A to select everything, control C to s copy it, and then I clicked into my removable disk, which is my radio, and then said control V. And that put everything into the place. Took a little bit of time to copy over, not too long, and then it was done. Don't forget though, if I was doing this step first time, I'd always recommend that what you do is just take a little bit of time and before you copy it across, just put the original sounds from the SD card somewhere nice and safe and then you can go back if you need to. Right, so now the files are actually on the radio. So there they all are, including the ones that are in the system. We can now go onto the radio and start telling the radio that we want to play some of these when things happen. 
So the last tip here is that if you want the radio to play something like Flight of the Valkyries or the theme to Dam Busters as part of your flight, then all you have to do is make sure that you're copying it across to the radio in, in a WAV format. So it has to be a .wav. What you would do then is copy that particular file into this area as well, and you'd be able to use the process that I'm about to demonstrate to assign that to a button or an event. Right, let's go onto the radio and I'll show you how to actually assign those sounds to the switches. So here we have the radio with a model that has a three position switch for flight modes and what we'll do is we'll make the radio announce the three flight modes that I've programmed in. So what we're going to do is click menu, we go into then click the page until we get down to a menu that we haven't played with a lot until now and that menu is called special functions. Now special functions is where we can actually assign a sound file to a switch position. So we're going to hit enter, we're going to hit enter again and this time we're going to select the switch that we want. This time it's switch E in the back position. We're going to hit enter again, we're going to come down another one, we're going to say that actually we're not going to override anything. There's lots of things we can do in here but the one we're after is we can either play sound which is what you'd think it's going to be and that would allow us to then select lots of standard sounds that the radio has in it. The one we want is play track because we're going to get it to play a WAV file. We're going to hit enter again, we're going to come down and now it's going to give us the massive list of all the files that we've just uploaded. Now I'm going to say that the first mode is going to be called something like stabilize which is STBLZ looking at the JPEG file. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to stabilize and it can either be stabilize or stabilize mode. I'm just going to say stabilize. I'm going to hit enter again. That's the first one done. We'll go down to special function 2 and again we will hit enter. We'll select the switch as the middle position. We'll hit enter again. We'll go down. We'll say that we want to play track. Enter again, we'll go down one more. This time we're going to have the mode as something like circle, which is C-I-R-C-L. There it is. We'll hit enter again. We'll just play it one time. That's great. Hit exit again. We'll go down and we'll do the last switch position. We'll hit enter again and the last position is forward. Then we'll go down. Guess what? We're going to say play track. And this time we're going to have it as something like uh, GPS return to home. We'll call it GPS. There we go. That'll work for the demo. So now we have three positions. So the position at the very back, stabilize, middle, circle, top, GPS, stabilize. So that's how that works and that's how we assign functions on the radio. So it's special functions, play track and then you pick the track that you want. So now we've seen that on the radio, let's connect the radio back to the PC and I'll just show you how you can still do this inside OpenTX Companion because there's one little thing we have to do so that you can still create your models and it will still refer to the right WAV files. So we're back in OpenTX Companion 2.0 and we have our radio connected via the USB cable. So uh, let's just read the models and settings from the radio. There they are. Now the CC3D demo is the one that we've been playing with. So I'm just going to double click on that. And we can go into the special functions. And here in the special functions are the three positions that we've just set up on the radio with the three things playing different sound files. Now if I go and try and set up another switch, so maybe we have our momentary switch set up to do something like SH. So let's just try and set up SH. Then we'll click on play track. So here's all the different things that we can do in here and special functions is one that we'll come back to later in the series because it's a very powerful place in the radio but at the moment we're just going to say play track and then if we ask it what we can download and what we can play it only lists the three it already knows about. We're not getting that full list. That's because at the moment the 
OpenTX software doesn't know about all the sounds that we have on the radio. So we need to set that up. So we need to click on settings. And in here, then we need to tell it where the SD structure path is. And we need to point this to the drive that's connected to the PC that's showing the SD card in the Tyrannus radio. So I know that that's actually that one. It's removable disk E. We'll click OK. So now if we go back into CC3D demo, now that the OpenTX application knows where the SD card is, we should find that we have a little bit more to play with. So you can see now that we have our CC3D image, which is the one that we've linked to. But now if we go into special functions, we can actually choose from any one of all of the modes that we have that are listed out. So that's the trick inside OpenTX. If you can't get and set up the bits that you need, all you need to do is make sure that in your settings that you've actually pointed this little bit, SD structure path, to the logical drive that's connected to your computer that's actually your Tyrannus SD card. And you can tell the difference between the two. The one that you don't want is called Tyrannus, the other one is called Removable Disk, and it will have the space on it that's the SD card inside the radio. So hopefully for those of you that are interested, that should help explain how you can get the sound files, put them onto your radio, configure them using the interface, and also configure them using our wonderful OpenTX companion program as well. Thank you for taking the time to watch that video. There are lots of other videos on the channel and they're carefully ordered into playlists. So you may find that there are other videos on this same subject that you can go and watch. So I would recommend going into the playlist area of Painless360 YouTube channel and looking around and seeing what there is. You never know what you might find. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.